Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Noah here. Welcome back to a chess.com live. And I will explain my thought processes as I go. If you guys want to see more chess videos in the future, then leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content. And yeah, I'm super excited to get into it. So they're playing this move, which doesn't actually attack anything because the queen covers. So I'm just going to play my C pawn out first and just get developed, I think. And it comes out. That's fine. I'm going to bring my knight out. I could castle queenside here, but I don't think I'm going to because I have the C pawn out. I want to bring my knight next. That's what I'm going to do. And they seem to be playing like a king's Indian sort of. Yeah, it's it's basically a, a transposition to a king's Indian defense. I can also play like a king's Indian sort of D4 attack, or I can just thrust this pawn in the middle. I think this is pretty solid, and then maybe bring the bishop to D3. I'm not really sure what to do with this bishop. I maybe should have brought it out to, to hit the knight. Or maybe tried to trade it off, but minor it is right now i'm gonna bring my bishop out and then i'm gonna castle short that's a good uh counter-attacking move hits the pawn i'm not really too worried about that i'm gonna castle and if they attack then i'll just take i'm thinking about take taking here um this literally forces the uh the pawn of the knight to take i'm okay with any kind of transposition here this is also a move i'm looking at um this is also a move. It's not a great one. I want to get my queen out, so I'm thinking... I'm also thinking this is not a bad move. I'm going to play this. Stay patient, but also kind of push the issue, because if they want to... If the opponent ever wants to castle short, um, they're going to be castling into my kingside attack. So that's my thought process with h4. I could see h5 coming out here. Okay, that's a okay move. It attacks the pawn. Um, I could just push here and guard, or I could really like go for this. It's not a bad idea. Um, because right now this pawn is just under attack. So I could push here. Could also bring my queen here, hitting both, but then he just drops back. That's actually not a bad idea. It's a little bit aggressive, but I'm gonna go for it. Um We're fine here as long as the opponent just drops back. I don't think there's really any other move for my opponent here. That's not really... A, uh, yeah, it's not a move. Okay, that just hangs a, a bishop, no? Does that not hang a bishop? Am I in trouble here? Am I about to get my queen trapped? No, because I can drop back to here. If the knight goes there. And that actually stops the opponent from castling. So I think I'm just up a bishop right now, which is not bad. Uh, I'm going to look to trade in the middle. Kind of clarify things and just go from there, I think. Try to trade off this bishop. Um, and my queen's in a good spot right now. Okay, that's that's not a bad move. Looking to attack, but it's also not the best. I can just go here. Everywhere that knight attacks is kind of covered, right? This is covered. This is covered. These two squares aren't, but I'm not really worried about that. And this square, these two squares are covered as well, so. I'm not too worried about the knight right now. Um, I could jump into here. That hangs this. This is not a bad move. Um, I'm actually going to prepare that move by playing rook e1. Is that a good move? I don't know if it is. This is an interesting move that I'm looking at. I'm just going to stop my opponent from castling, I think. Bring my queen back. And then maybe play this move in the future. Just stopping all kinds of attacks. On my queen. Um, this looks a little dangerous for me actually right now, but I can just kind of sneak out the side, out the back door if I want to, which is good. Okay, that's not a bad move. I'm still going to play this move here. Do I want to go two forward or one forward? Uh, one forward probably, maintaining this. But I'm going to make a little escape for my queen out here, um, which is what I'm going to do. Uh... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to kind of squeak my way out the back door. I just want to play solidly because I'm up in this game. You know, I'm up a bishop. So I just want to play solidly and and just just win the game, really. Um, don't blunder anything. Keep everything alive. That's that's a good move. Um, could bring my knight back. Could retreat to here. That's actually not a bad move. 
Yeah, I don't mind this because it guards this, and I just kind of maintain really, really good presence in the center. Um, with the, these knights, like this pawn's not going anywhere. These pawns are kind of locked down on the side of the board. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to go here, but to hit the knight, like the pr pressure on the knight, but we're fine. That's a fine move as well. I'm going to bring my bishop here, hopefully, and then maybe try to trade this pawn off in the middle somehow. That's not a bad move. I'm going to... I'm actually going to play this break here. Try to open up my bishop. Uh, maybe I should have played it that, because that, that kind of seals off the uh, that side of the board. That's fine. They take it. That's okay. Um, now this pawn can't go anywhere, and I actually hit the rook on the far side. So it's not bad. I just, I think A4 was, uh, actually, I don't know if A4 is better there. Okay, they bring their, uh, they bring the rook, which makes sense. Um, the easiest way to defend this is just to bring a rook. Probably this rook is better. Or I can just drop back, maintaining my long-term pressure, but I think bringing this rook is better, actually. Um, I want to jump into here, maybe. In, in sometime in the future. Okay, that's a good move. Um, okay, let, let's, let's calculate. Takes, takes, queen c3, guarding, um, and then this is also guarded, so yeah, that's fine. I can take here. It's a little, it's a little shady, but offer to draw. No thanks, buddy. I'm, I'm okay. I don't, I don't need to draw this. Right now I'm up a pawn, but yeah, after this trade, like I'm I'm in okay shape. I have control of the open file. Everything is guarded. Is there any way I can guard this bishop actually? I can just guard it with a rook because the rooks got traded, so. Yeah, let's just do that. And then I'll uh I'll drop back here, kick out the rook, go from there. Cause now I'm just infiltrating down this file, right? Like my I can bring my uh as soon as I kick this knight out with like uber pressure everywhere, then I can bring my queen to uh, b4 and and go go infiltrate. I mean this bishop here, which is kind of not ideal, but it is what it is. I need to remember not to hang my uh, my rook. It'd be a, a good thing. But the more pieces that come off the board, the more it benefits me. I'm, I'm a bishop. However, I do need to be careful because I don't want to get into a drawn bishop endgame. where the opponent just can hold because they have all of the same color pawns as my bishop. That would be really bad, so. That's an interesting move. Um, I'm just going to kick out the rook now. Get out of here. I could have gone here, actually. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a better move, undoubtedly. Um, yeah, that's, that's a pretty bad miss, I'm not going to lie. Bishop b5 was a really, really strong move. Just hit both, and it was free. Oh, well. I guess queen here would have guarded. I guess that wouldn't have guarded against bishop takes. That would have been fine with me. But it is what it is. Um, okay, that's not a bad move. I'm going to go here. And if they go back, yeah, I'm just going to go here now. Okay, perfect. So I got what I wanted. Um, after a little repetition, I got the better move, which is good. Uh, if they go here to guard, then I take the rook. If they go here to guard, I take the rook as well. If they move the rook to here, I take the rook. So, we're fine. Anywhere they move the rook, I can just take it. So, we're in a good spot. Unless they go... Yeah, that makes sense. And we'll just trade here. And that's fine by me. Um, now I'm up in a, now I'm up a rook instead of a bishop. So now it's time to simplify. I could go here. Oh no, that, that's a really bad move. Um, actually, is it? If I go here and they take and I take. Oh, then you just take the rook. Yeah, yeah, that's bad. Um, let's go. Uh, here is not a bad move. Yeah, here is good because it forces a rook trade, right? Or it forces a queen trade, I think. Or it either kicks your queen out or you queen trade. And up a rook, I should be able to win this game. I 
Okay, that's not a bad move. It doesn't really hit anything. I mean, it hits this knight, but... The knight's guarded right now, so... I'm not really too worried about that. Um, I can continue with this flank push, actually. Because my pawns are in a pretty good position right now. Like, everything is guarded in my position. Bishop b2 is an interesting move, but I have this nice diagonal right now. I don't like this knight, but I can't really do anything about it. I don't like this knight either, but again, I can't really do anything about it because I can't push this pawn. Um, I can go here, but I don't know what that really does for me. Uh, that actually prepares this move. And it gets me out of this queen pressure, so I think this is the move I'm going to play. It doesn't really destabilize anything too important. Um, this pawn loses a guard, but it's fine. It's guarded by a pawn, so we're okay with that. Yeah, we're just up a full rook here, and the only real problem in my position is that they are C7 pawn, and it's not up the board at all, and it's not a passed pawn, so it should be okay with my five pawns connected. Just got to be clinical and careful. Okay, that's an interesting move. Um, the queen comes and hits everything. So this is guarded. This is not. This is an okay move. Yeah, again, just swapping queens is fine for me here. And if we swap, then I get a nice line of vision on the knight. And you just can't guard the pawn behind it. So it's fine. I hate the knight. And, uh, and I hit the pawn behind, so we're fine here. Can the knight counterattack me in any way? No, nah, I think my, all my pieces are kind of well situated. You can take here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to take this. Gobble, gobble. We should be okay. This is the next move. Okay, good play. I like that play. Um, but that destabilizes this square. So that's what we're going to do. They offer me another draw. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> um, there's just no reason for me to draw this position. I'm up six points of material, so. Okay, that's a decent move. Um, I can go check here. And then check depending on where the king moves. Yeah, I think that's my best play. Uh, okay, what if I go check and then here? What's my play then? Then I counterattack his knight, right? Is that the right play? Ah, uh, no, then I go check with my bishop all the way. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go here. And if he goes to either of these squares. Um, I hit the I hit him with uh oh he can't go there. He's gotta go here or here. No, actually his only move is to go here because of the rook on the back rank. So this is the only move, and I can go check here. Yeah, that's fine. Go check here. And then Yeah, I think is this mate? No, you can go here. No no. You can block, but I think that's it. I think that's game. Nice. Okay, so you guys kind of saw my experience a little bit, playing some more chess. Um, if you guys want to see me do some sort of chess challenge where I checkmate with like just a bishop or something like that, or if you want to see me play some of my friends in the future, then let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.